Good morning, church. Welcome back to our daily devotion insight. Today, I want to share with a devotion entitled, Keep Improving. Keep Improving. You know, life is about change, becoming better, and improving to become a better person. Amen. I want to read from Luke chapter 12, verse 48. It says, Everyone to whom much was given of him, much will be required. And from him to whom they entrusted much, they will demand the more. You know, author H. Jackson Brown Jr. quipped this, Talent without discipline is like an octopus on roller skates. There's plenty of movement, but you never know if it's going to go, going to go forward, backward, or sideways. You know, that is so true, isn't it? If you know you have talent and you have seen a lot of motion but little concrete results, you may lack self-discipline. Look at last week's schedule. How much of you devote to regular discipline activity? Did you do anything to grow and improve yourself? Did you do anything to grow and improve yourself? If you have been putting these things off and telling yourself that you will do them later, you need to work your self-discipline. Many a time we seem to procrastinate. We say later I'll do, later I'll change, later I'll think about it. You need to work on it. Lack self-discipline. A nursery in Canada display this sign. Right? Displays this sign on its wall. It says this. The best time to plant a tree is 20 year, 25 years ago. The second best time is today. So start, so starting today, discipline yourself. Why? Because of four reasons. Because one, there's a price to pay to reach the next level. There's a price to pay to reach the next level. You know, there was an American playwright you know, Sidney Howard remark, one half of knowing what you want is knowing what you must give up before you get it. One more time. One half of knowing what you want is knowing what you must give up before you get it. Number two, there's a heavier price to pay to go to the next level. Number two, be willing to start with small things. Be willing to start with small things. At first, your gains will be small but they will grow. The difference between gold medal winner and the other contestant is often just hundreds of a second. You know, and we may start small, but you will gain later. If you discipline yourself faithfully in doing the same thing over and over again in time to come, it will grow, you will get promoted, you, you will be given much more things to do because much is given, much is required. Number three, Get into the right environment. Get into the right environment. Since improvement always requires some degree of risk and failure, pick a place where growth and experimentation are encouraged. You know, you must be with the right group of people, with the right environment of people who are always wanting to improve, as always wanting to change, always encouraging one another to grow, to become better, to become holistic, to become more godly. In those environments when you serve and you work together, you know what? You will grow. Amen? You will become better. You will improve. If you go in an environment, always talk bad, always the, talk, uh, talk down on you, always discourage you, you know what? You will not improve. Be careful. Lastly, believe that you can always do it better. Believe that you can always do it better. Anything you are doing in a particular way for a given amount of time, can always be done better. If you're been doing going the same road, doing the same way, and getting the same thing done in the same way, you know what? And and giving the same result all the time, you know what happened? You need to change to do it better, a different way, so they can get greater result. Keep improving. Remember this. So God, may God help us so that you and I can keep improving. Amen. In life, in all areas of our life, whether it's in church ministry, whether it's outside in the secular world, 
you can be better. You can improve in what you're doing. Amen. Let's pray. Father, we pray that you strengthen, renew, and refresh us. Help us to keep improving because you expect of us to be better each time. All this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.